In this episode, we take a look back at some of the great chefs, farmers, and organizations from this season that make our show, The Culinary Kid, so much fun to make. Hi, I'm Remy, and I started cooking when I was four. When I turned 10, I learned all I could from my home kitchen, so I partnered with Oklahoma State's Culinary Arts Program. Now, I travel to the best chefs around, learning the curriculum and techniques, then seek out the freshest, most healthy ingredients to create dishes to be judged by the chefs that inspired them. Just call me the Culinary Kid. This season, we went all over the Midwest, and we found some of the freshest ingredients along with some enthusiastic food producers. Take a look. These pigs rock. Let's go talk to Steve and learn about natural farming. Well, in, in free range farming, the difference between us and the commercial industry is we don't use any antibiotics on the farm. We don't use, we don't give pig shots. We don't put any in the feed or the water. And on the commercial, the commercial pigs, I mean, they are pretty much medicated from the time they're born. So thanks for having us out. So tell me a little bit about natural farms. Well, the main thing is Natural Farms is in the production, processing, and marketing of all natural and organic food products. So we're not, we have the farm out here where we raise the beef ourselves. Some things unexpected from the series were, um, I got to go to Goat Farm, which is really cool. Got to feed baby goats. <laughs> they were so cute. And I got to learn how they flavored the cheese and about the farm's life cycle. It was one of the best experiences from the series. Working with a professional chef and then making a meal for them using their technique it's pretty stressful. Sometimes I work weeks on perfecting the recipe, so there can be a little stress involved. Right in the center there. And the Wellington take... smells great. Oh, it's good. Look mm -hmm. at that. I think we should just cut this in half mm -hmm. and see what it tastes like. Okay. Whoa. Mmm. Good. Young lady, you rock. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Chef Michael, today I have prepared a chicken wellington with asparagus and glazed carrots and a creamy wellington sauce, a, a grapefruit salad, and some French bread. I hope you enjoy. You, you not only pass, you pass with flying colors. You know what, Remy? I think you passed. Woo! Thank I'm you. I'm very impressed. I think that you did a great job with your flavor profiles getting the freshness of the herbs, the lovely pita pocket salad, which is takes a lot of ingenuity. I'm really impressed with that. In our downtime on the set, sometimes we get a little silly. All right, camera's rolling? Great. Rolling. All right, and uh, clean up this mess, take two. Remy, you can clap. And did you know that spinach is rich in vitamin A, and trying to produce, oh wait, I'm, I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you, I need to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> you can't laugh at me like that. <laughs> ingredients for, oh, no, we're all beginning the ingredients for this week's lesson. Ready? I need to remember that. Okay, let's try that one more time, sorry. Oh, you want me to move. Doesn't this look great? I hope Shepard, do oh, Shepard. So they're an Italian cow, so what the little what? <laughs> you crazy? Where a little thick you mustache. Crazy. <laughs> That'd be cool. Okay, so. so what, if I blanched this, it would die. Your toe so because it's, it's healthy <laughs> now. I mean it's been running around and moving. <laughs> so. Chef Cameron. Bait okay, sorry. Okay. Oh wait, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna fill the shell up and then we're gonna place it back. Okay. Okay. I can't work under these conditions. I don't like raining. I don't like cloudy. <laughs> I don't like ugly. I don't like foggy. I don't like misty. I don't like. And it has to do with precipitation. Okay, rolling. <laughs> you messed up with me. You gotta give me that model attitude. Come on. Where's it at? Give me, give me the face. You're, you're a lion. for the culinary kid. Hmm. Well, we've got our eyes on going national. 
We want more kids in the kitchen, more fun, more food, and definitely more friendship. Looking back at this season, I accomplished more than I thought I would and made some great friends along the way. I can't wait to see what the next season holds right here on The Culinary Kid.